Let's go and welcome back to the cooperative or co-apocalypse uh, co of XCOM 2 Legendary Iron Man today. I am stoked. I'm pleased um, and it's my utmost pleasure uh, to have Chris back on the channel. Uh, Chris, after our uh, previous endeavor with uh, the Aliens 3 missions, what's your first impression? Well, that we did surprisingly well against the zombies and that we did surprisingly badly in the second time that we ran into actual aliens. And I am a little bit afraid of meeting them again now. <laughs> that is... Though you did say that the uh, that particular mission type was like pretty damn hard. So that is I'll true. take you by your word. That is true. Uh, not everything is lost, but if we take a look um, at our armory before I head over to Chris, we got pretty much everyone either gravely wounded, lightly wounded, or kind of out of the office. So if a mission was to pop up now, we only got Roby and uh, Ivan Petrov here, a sharpshooter, which is all we got. Um, so let's pray we're not getting a mission. Uh, we are... And just uh, from a uh, perspective of all of our next items, we are almost done with uh, clearing that alien debris over here. Um, you decided for us to go for the modular sniper rifles, which uh, means our sniper rifles would be um, uh, would improve. And we're about 15 days away from our second supply drop. So I would hand over the controls to you, Chris, and let us um, lead us uh, through the journey, please stumble is more like it um yeah i think for now i'd like to finish clearing that alien debris uh -huh. i'm actually not quite sure what we would do with that space to be quite fair oh and it looks we have some day left on the supply drop only three days no three that means just for your explanation it would take three days to to gather the supplies uh, so that you uh, just know the rules. Um, if you wait until the next supply drop, they will just add that on top of it, which means it makes it a tiny bit more effective for you to even uh, collect it. So you get kind of twice the loot uh, for the same amount of time. I thought I just needed to uh, collect it every time. I guess I did that wrong. Uh. <laughs> no, no problem. Be, be, before we move on, I just noticed uh, if you click on the bottom uh, part on that green figure, we do have uh, indeed a guerrilla ops mission going. So it means we're directly starting today with a mission. Um, let's see. Oh, shit. We get um, a squatty ranger out of it, which is good because we just lost one. It counters a dark event. Um, XCOM soldiers suffer greater losses to will. For your info, willpower determines if they are tired or not afterwards. And all we need to do is recover an item from Resistance Haven, so it's a hacking mission. Uh, what you see on the bottom right side is a so-called side trip. Uh, side trip are special intrusion something something something. Um, it yeah. is a mod you explained it last time. Exactly, so, yeah, it's a modifier on the mission. Right, and it's a good one for us because the timer will not um, start. Um, until we break concealment. So yep. um, unless you want to skip the mission, I would say we're we're forced to. Go no, on. we we are we are we are doing the mission, of course. Okay. No, no skipperino. No skipperino. Don't skip leg day, as they say. Um, good. Let's. Uh, I'll pause uh, the recording real quick. All right. Uh, so we are going in uh, to get, uh, today, Chris, with you on the Petrov, the Sniper, and uh, Roby, our primary machine gun expert. And I'll take two rookies because apparently I suck and have lost all of my um, soldiers. So let's go. Yeah, that was fully your fault. That they died. <laughs> I take responsibility for it. We, <laughs> uh, we had a problem. Let's hit launch mission and um, do a little bit um, of a flyby shooting. Indeed. All right. I thought you, no, no, you, you, you were yeah, yeah, yeah. No. my bad. Perfect. So we got Hayward and Quick Feet, guys. Two of our um, uh, long-term uh, champ uh, champions in the in the pool. So let's see how that one is going. We're starting the mission right away. Hope uh, he did manage to start the recording in time. All right, guys, we're back. He can no longer like hear it. me. Um, so, as usual, I don't seem to have control um, of anything. Can you try and move stuff a little bit? Hmm. Okay, well, 
Um, how do we best do this? Just move one of your soldiers where you'd like him to move, and then I'll use that opportunity to interact with the screen so I get control back, hopefully. Okay, I hope that will function. Let's see. Yeah, I think now it's... Now it's okay, a little bit of a technical yeah, that's difficulty. Just lag. Okay, good. Okay, now I can actually act. Thank you. Uh, so let's have a look. The uh, hacking target is all the way back here. Looks like inside a building. A lot of space to cover. Um, fortunately, you've already moved forward. Um, can I see if this building has any space? Like This looks like potentially a decent line of sight here to set up a sniper, so I'll try to get him up here as fast as possible. Nice. Um, and then idea. just move this lad normally. Uh, all things considered, doesn't look like we're going to run into enemy enemies right now, so we're just going to move forward. All right, Chris. Uh, only got a sniper as well. The sniper isn't going to do much either way, so I think it should be pretty safe to move him a bit further. I want to be greedy and go here, but I get the impression I might find something around the corner here, so instead we're going to go up to there. Chris is playing defensive, but that's not a problem. And then pal over here. We're just going to go into Overwatch for the moment, and I'll leave you to your remaining actions. All right. So Chris has taken a spot here and here, which is uh, great. So he's playing defensive, and I really appreciate it. I'll take the point on this mission. So um, I will use both of my uh, soldiers to actually get into the a... equivalent of calling me a chicken. Uh, I, see. <laughs> I see. He cannot hear me. Oh, my gosh. Um, I'm probably uh, overestimating how easy it is to get detected while you're still moving in uh, stealth. Um, I think he's doing fine. So uh, there is. We do want to go upstairs as soon as possible. So moving here seems reasonable. One thing in case of doubt with most. I thought of... I could get up here, but. In case of right. doubt, uh, in case we are gonna go here. What I wanted to uh, mention is, in case of a doubt, rather play defensive than aggressive. So he's uh, doing that quite well. Um, we do have no timer, um, so uh, we want to reach this here, but we do have plenty of time for that, um, thanks to the side trip. Moving um, in as far as we can. These areas here all are spotted by the sector, but there is probably another one around. So got to be a bit careful um, not to trigger too uh, too much. We're putting everyone into positions and let's see what the enemy is doing. Not much. Alien disappears from view entirely. Check again, but it seems like I can only go up onto something there. So since I don't expect the sniper to do much shooting, it would be useful to have it reveal something. Now, the Careful. patrol yes. seem to be going this way, so I'm a bit hesitant to just run into this room. Good, good. Um, so unfortunately, we'll have to move you. Oops, a little bit of a glitch there. Probably to here. Let's see if we can get very good any kind of vision on the alien. We cannot. You can that already see Chris has a super precise uh, reading of the entire situation. Although he's not experienced in the game, um, his spider well, sense. That's the edge of the map. It appears. So I'm pretty sure this is a safe movement. Guess we'll find out. Good idea. Good idea. I like it. Ah, oh, that is too bad. Oh. Apparently they see farther than I remember. He's he's going to take. Uh, uh, he's probably. Alrighty then. Uh, two enemies, both in full cover. Yes. The... Obviously, this is time for grenades. We just need to figure out where. Uh, go um, a little bit closer, Chris. Keep thinking two is movement. I think that's from. Oh, that is good. Fire emblem. 
he is thinking um let's move you to here that is good i think and then see if we can get any decent line of sight unfortunately grenades are like super stingy with their area of effect so no double hit um why am i not seeing their health bars Having a bit struggle with the uh, pixelation. There we go. So this guy has 4 HP. Thing in the back is quite a bit more. So I prefer to have it without cover for the moment. And uh, blow it up while we're at it. Let's see if we can get a bit more of the train. Doesn't look like it. So I think that is about the best we can do for now. Good turn. I think uh, he did well. Problem with uh, is he had the wrong target selection. The sector is really not m doing much. Let's see if we can salvage uh, that. So first things first, um, we want to kill this guy here and we want to flank him. We, The problem with standing here is he could go to here and then take a shot at us. So we don't want to do that same on um this side of the fence so we really don't have the greatest uh flanking potential um and i also don't want to use even more grenades for now um which sort of brings me back to a uh, rather safer play so we're going to go for the sector that didn't work out we're in full cover, so we are okay. Nice little crit. We are lucky. That was good. Um, let's see. I feel like we got very lucky there. Um, <laughs> did I miss it, or did somebody just get a promotion there? Yes, he, you're right, but he cannot hear me. Very not sure who did all right um do want to grab the item but we have one more turn this guy obviously did flank but is now flanked himself so we're continuing to move towards the objective but also flanking this guy and keeping cover i feel like excellent this move. is a decent place to go excellent move yeah that should be fine should be. Was not. Um, pistol was only two damage, I believe. Two to three, but he's on the right check. Track. But we can't really shoot at him. And we do kind of need to get to high ground with the sniper to do anything useful. Um, he is going to die to one of your guys anyway, and I can't kill him with the pistol. So I'm actually going to delay with the sniper and let you take your turns first. Right, Chris uh, did uh, mm, use the good old wrestling move to let me get into the ring. We're gonna charge in, and there you go. There's another promotion, and I will show Chris a little bit of a trick moving up here, then using open closed door, and then going on to overwatch yeah i'm pretty sure that both of you guys have a have a uh, promotion at this point he is right all right uh this is this is very tempting just running here <laughs> but uh, we'll, do it, Chris. We'll, we'll do the running next round i think yes That's a good um, can we get up here <laughs> that seems like a bad idea um and we can't really do it here for some reason i'm like oh some reason this guy sits sitting in front of it that's why all right uh no going up so instead we're gonna try and go uh, up here i think next turn with the sniper and instead we're just gonna move in for a moment is there any useful like place to go to uh further forward we might reveal something so we're once again going to take the very safe route. This, there's the ladder, I think. So I would say going up to here is pretty safe. 
I'm not sure Lance why Stevens. he wouldn't stay in his position and just overwatch. I think he uh, he is afraid that... No, Jesus Christ, for a moment I thought they had been revealed again. No. Now we got reinforcements. That's unfortunate. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> he okay. understood that. Um, blah, 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 blah. This is the sniper. Sniper won't do much this around, I believe. So I'm going to use it to get the item, which I believe they will pick up as soon as they get here. Yeah, it's you. amazing how much you get to know someone and if you're playing revealed, with them. So you will stay here for a moment. We'll see what we do with you later. And uh, with all our assault, we have how many rounds? Six rounds? I believe they arrive at the red flare. So He's right, he's right. Well, we definitely want to set ourselves up to deal with that. Um, hmm. Don't seem to recall from last mission if they show up immediately after, because I do think they did. So, slightly risky. We're going to, like, move to over here. Once again, it's a bit difficult for me to see, but yeah, we have windows here, so I think moving to here and Overwatch should be decent. So we're going to do that. That should also keep your back free, and then I'll give to you for now, and then I'll finish the turn with the sniper. All right, just finishing my train of thought. It's amazing to um, to see how how well you get to know someone when you are playing with them. Um, Chris is one of the gamers who likes loot, apparently, who doesn't, um, and he's willing to take some risk in order to get it, uh, which is it's just a nice little thing to see. I fucked that one up. So we now have a couple of them incoming, which is really bad. The reinforcements are coming on top of it. So what we're going to do is we're closing the door, which means no line of sight, and he can focus in that direction. Okay, so if I'm not misreading the situation, we're gonna get the reinforcements and these guys coming in. So that's gonna be great. Um, don't go up. Going don't go up, up here, don't go probably up. not the best idea. They will be the only target, really, to demount Perfect. the aliens over here. So we do the chicken option and we go into the full cover here. Not bad. I think he did uh, very well there. Stun lan Ooh, stun lances. Not good. I wonder who's the priest. Maybe the one in the, the white armor? <laughs> ah, shite. Okay, almost got them. <laughs> oh, wow, we're we're in a Pretty You're getting a case of deja vu. Trouble. Not a good situation. one. Incoming fire. I'm all right. Can't fight it. At right. least they're really bad shots. Let's see. Um, Chris it's is my guy that got taken over, right? Yep. So I uh, only have the sniper. Let's have a look here, how his shots look. Absolute trash. By the way, that haircut, what the fuck? <laughs> um, I'm gonna pass on this one. Well, that was the right decision, he did very well. So we got a grenade and we're going to definitely go for the um, for the sector. We're being flanked from here, which means I gotta move at least one of the soldiers out. Uh, we definitely gotta focus first on the uh, sector so reloading and then using a frag grenade we're going to open the door and uh, then actually using the frag grenade removing his cover there we go Now, if we go here, 
we will be probably melted quite a bit so the next uh, the next best option for not uh, being in such a bad situation is to move up here and then take a shot uh, we would need to hit another option could be to go to here but that wouldn't uh, see him another option could be here but we would be easily flankable so i think this here might be the best bet um, up here up here we would be seeing him but we would be in the open and would take too many hits up here we would be out of uh, line of sight so that's not going to work um not a great position to be in i'm going to be very honest and uh, this is 80 percent shot Let's see if we can get him down three hp okay uh 57 percent chance to hit as far as i understand pistol isn't gonna kill it with only uh two damage two to three <laughs> Okay, guaranteed chance to hit, but a uh, chance not to kill, as opposed to 50% chance to hit, but guaranteed to kill. Mm, that's a rough one. The pistol mm, has a great repositioning. chance. He probably doesn't know that. I mean, get the impression this guy is probably the safest of the group right now, considering where the aliens are coming from, so I'd rather leave him where he is. Uh... I guess it's a 50-50 shot either way. It's either a 50-50 roll on the damage or a 50-50 roll on the hit chance. But on the damage, we also have the chance to crit. So I'm going to bet on the pistol for now. Good choice. Oh, no. Whip. Oh, no. <laughs> he, he played it so well. Oh, no. Well, we're in a tough spot now. Well, that is not good. Mind control? No, oh, stasis. Well, that's actually not the worst that could have happened. Oh boy, Chris is taking it all in. He must uh, he must think that we're uh, always getting played like that. Ouch. Okay, well, uh, Shockstick says I'm wrong, apparently. And uh, Sniper wasn't quite as safe as I thought. The correct play now it would be I don't to go see to high anything ground. from high the sector. High ground. Which is what I would like to take care of at this point. Um, and as far as I can tell, we only have two characters. Oh, because the other one is in the stasis and in fire. Doesn't look good. He needs to take the high ground. Or oh, there's going to be a wipe. Mm. Run away and get cover and live with the fact that one or two people are gonna die. No, 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 this no, is my no. current impression of this situation, to be honest. Um... I still have the sniper active, so I'm unfortunately going to have to defer to you again. <laughs> okay, well, we know that the guy is here. I cannot uh, do anything, so the right play, I hope that he uh, sees this, is going to actually shoot from here and then take him out. I, on the other hand uh, side, will use a medkit healing. For Hayward myself. And I'm thinking about getting the stun lancer. Didn't work out, but hopefully he he will take the hint 
And yeah, not not going great. Hopefully he will take the hint. Um, I don't want to get like stun batoned again. Uh, I do fear that he's just gonna shoot another grenade uh, next turn. Yes. Uh, no med kit, so can't exactly heal myself. So for now, get as much distance as possible, no. and not get flanked next turn. But no. then uh, you are probably getting flanked to hell and back. Though I'm not sure I can do much about that. Maybe if we have a spot back here that gives us cover, but not really this one. But. That's still a flag from everybody under the sun. Maybe he's uh, in the high ground. Come on. And I do believe this is somewhat suicidal to go all the way back here. Because even though I have trouble seeing the guys, there's definitely like two of them right here. I could easily flank and this wouldn't even give me a good shot on the alien if it oh. is indeed. Again, I'm having trouble actually seeing it because it's a bit pixelated. I'm not sure if they're in this square or in this one. Uh, I feel like here I could probably shoot the alien, but that would then be the end of my guy. But we'll get a soldier back, I do believe. How about you? Um, the high also, it's another 50-50 shot of actually killing. No, wait, it's only at 1 HP. Uh, take it out and hope we have enough health to get through this. I feel like this might be the correct play, uh, but it feels bad. It feels really bad. It's a good uh, play, Chris. It is better than running away. Don't how long does the stasis feel last? I don't recall. No, I hope it ends on our turn. I'm not on theirs, or that guy's dead. Uh, yeah, I choose the retreat option. <laughs> No. Over now. Okay. Oh, we're done. Ah, oh, yes, the stasis, uh, stasis ends during their turn. That is rough. I'm sorry, Quick Feet. You just. I'm not sure how you're expected to save someone that get hits, gets hit by that. Is it another grenade? Yep. Oh boy. I think we're going to be out of soldiers and soon I cannot even influence it anymore. <laughs> We're getting beaten badly, very badly. That was close. Fire's getting close here. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ah, uh, yeah. This guy dead or unconscious? I can't tell. He's very much dead, bro. Uh, bro. Um, well, I mean, smells like an extraction to me. It could actually win looks this pretty one, shit. But it looks pretty bad. Um, it looks like you will actually be able to get to him. Fire only deals damage at the end of the turn, I hope. So that could work. Um, oops. We might want to yep. put an extraction over here. Okay, I was. Or we're going. Gonna call us guy ranger. I wanted to put it where the guy is uh, injured. But uh, seems that is not us. The other option is over here. And kill this guy. Hmm. If you could quickly tell me, uh, mechanics wise, um, can you shoot and then still evac? Uh, because I can't hear you right now, so. 
I hope that that uh, signals. Like, can I go yes. into the extraction zone and then shoot and then? I'll be just back? unmute myself real quick. All right, All we're right. back. Well, thank you for quickly uh, answering that question. Uh, unfortunately, because you now interrupted the uh, stream thingy, I can't actually interact. Oh, does it work again? No, it still doesn't work. Give me a sec. Let me see if I can somehow fix this. But, uh... Let's see. It still doesn't let me control if you would be... Oh, now it works, I think. Really weird uh, how this stuff works. So I did want to shoot this guy, but I kind of wanted to be on the other side of the wall, so that's a bit unfortunate. But uh, yeah, no grenade, so the only option we really have is just point-blank shooting him. Um, and then leaving. Another one damage, and then we evac out. All right, it's time to go. Sometimes you're the dog and sometimes you're the tree. And today we've been the tree. So better to get two people. And sadly, no shots from you to take the guy out. Not sure if that was like a positioning bug there at the end from me clicking on something or if you moved him there. But yeah. I'll explain it to, my, to my, my fears were justified. <laughs> All right, we're back. So, Chris, uh, well, uh, well, that was a hard mission. He immediately um, figured out that we uh, that we messed it up. So, a couple of things in mission debriefing. It was entirely my fault to trigger that other pack. It was um, unfortunate, to be honest, because uh, that was the only place where we could have triggered them. I broke line of sight by putting uh, by closing the door. Um, but uh, we were then unfortunately on top of it not blessed with great RNG the worst thing that could have happened happened the mind spin of the sector hasn't caused panic or distraction but caused um, and immediately caused the mind control which lasts for two rounds and I knew we couldn't run away because uh, we the guy had grenades and we would uh, we would have needed to kill uh, the um, sector um, everything else went well. You did the right thing with um, pulling out the gun and trying to shoot at him. Unfortunately, again, RNG wasn't on our side. We did minimum damage on all of the shots, so the sector had, uh, survived. The only thing that we could have done differently is when you were pondering about the idea where to put your sniper, when you're not seeing someone, um, that only means you cannot see him out of your current cover position. You could have taken the high ground, would have gotten the high ground bonus and just used the gun to kill him. So I was hoping you would take the high ground with a sniper and just pistol shoot the sector to death. That would have probably turned around the situation. But it even was... even with that amount of enemies on the field. Oh yeah, we we would have gotten um, the grenadier back. Um, you could have lobbed a grenade to kill the um, to kill the um, the priest. Um, and that would have probably spiraled it in, in our way. It was a close fight, so we most likely would have lost quick feet because he was caught um, in the open. Um, but the rest, I think we could have still, uh, we could have still um, won that. Unfortunately, now we've lost a sniper and a rookie, but we get someone back. So we see we got another sniper right there and only wounded for 10 days. So net net, we lost two rookies out of it, and Roby got some. The, yeah, the initial uh, thing where we got revealed in the train was that like an obvious one that they would spot that. Yeah, um, but you couldn't uh, know that uh, they were out of uh, line of sight. Learning here is they can see through the windows. And the most secure way of approaching the train is actually the door because the door itself is not uh, see-through. You can go next to the door, you can then open the door. Um, and as long as you're in cover, uh, they cannot uh, break concealment. So you can literally stand one field next to them as long as you do have yeah, cover to them. Yeah. The rest was good. Yes, yes. Uh, we still got um, the Alarium Core for whatever reason, which is funny. So you 
a broader some uh, larium um, some nice larium core so it wasn't the worst thing ever we lost two um, rookies which cost 40 resources overall and we got an alarium core which is worth about 25 resources it's net net zero see the good in things i see <laughs> you need to try to do that <laughs> And I think this campaign here could be a great example for many people who are struggling at the beginning of Legendary. What can I do for you? Uh, I'm totally calm. It, it's just another day in the office. We'll, we'll get it done. I see. Yeah, I mean, the thing that came to my mind was welcome to XCOM as uh, <laughs> the uh, sectoid uh, craps on us the second time around. Um, apparently, we have one leftover uh, engineer. It seems to believe so. Um... No, no, you have one engineer overall, and that one is stationed in the uh, clearing the alien debris. It, it gives you the total amount on top. I see, I see. Mm -hmm. Good. Well, for now. Yeah, yeah, we are aware. Right. Rip that dark event. Um. I should have checked on the uh, injury status on our pals. You might want to um, consider um, whether or not you want to have the rookies. Uh, we lost uh, three soldiers and rookies can be up to three. Uh, so there is um, the game is handing us new resources on the strategy layer. Oh, you mean on the on the map? I was wondering what you were talking about. Yeah, th that uh, those rookies are uh, between uh, one and three rookies. These guys. Mm -hmm. I see, I see. That's a fair point. Um, why not? I seem to be able to burn through them rather quickly. <laughs> so far. So we might not need a bit of stock. So yeah, um, the room, we did get 87 supplies. Um, proving grounds, ammo grenades, so additional equipment which i do really like we do have enough power barely uh to build it yes and we would need to make a power lay next time which isn't the worst thing in the world is there still adjacency bonuses like in xcom one no 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 that does no longer exist okay i, I seem to recall like stacking science labs next to each other <laughs> uh, that, is, that was the thing that is true okay very well Good. So yeah, it case, automatically uh, it automatically puts the engineer there for uh, essentially yep. reducing it from 28 days to 14 uh, and you can decide whether or not you want to do that or if you want to uh, continue with um, getting more alien debris uh, away but if you click on the alien debris in the second row you will see you probably need two now uh, to actually get it uh, done I mean, it doesn't say anything. Let's... On top there. Yeah, it does say two. So that tells you, just for your info, that it takes about 60 days. Unless you have two engineers. Exactly, then it is faster. I see. I see. Thank you very much. Then let's ignore that for now. Oh, there's an upgrade here. What does this do? doesn't tell me. Okay. I'll one leave last that thing, for later. One last thing uh, that you should know. You now have the decision. You could theoretically also put the engineer on the guerrilla tactic school. Uh, that building, I'm just giving you the info and you can then do the strategy discussion. The guerrilla tactic school uh, offers you to train squaddies, in, uh, rookies into squaddies, so you can train certain classes without even putting mm -hmm. them onto missions. Um, and the um, and it gives you upgrades so that we can have more soldiers in our squad. The proving grounds is for items. I do remember the items thing, but uh, you do make a good point about the whole um, more soldiers, because if a lot of soldiers die, we need a lot of soldiers, right? That is the uh, very nature so... of a meat grinder <laughs> campaign, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> we are currently going for exactly that kind of gameplay. As far as I can tell. So, sure, sure. Uh, yeah, Miss Sanchez, I think you are uh, switching over to here. Um, I was considering just putting it over here. I think here it uh, would increase our time for the covert mission. Yeah, it takes 33%. I believe we still off. have one going. Yeah, it, it, correct. It, it takes 33% off, so that would... Um... Not 50%. No, okay, not 50%. I'll leave it like it is then. That's fine. And then let's go back to uh, getting some meat for the meat grinder. 
<laughs> Seems like a good idea. Oh, god damn it. Uh, that's just the report. That is essentially the game telling you now that there is an avatar project. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Another stressor. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> mm, great. Very good. Does it like give you more points if you fail more missions? Uh, no, point? um, points can be... A, it always um, starts with three? It always starts with three on Legendary, and points can be acquired by the aliens building new facilities, sometimes just because uh, the game hates you, and a couple of other events that can trigger them. Fair enough. Well, how do I get back to clicking on things? There we go. Uh, proving ground facility in progress, research resistance communications, we will have to do that at some point. We are currently working on that... Uh, Research. Look at that. Two, Two rookies. rookies. That's the equivalent of 40, so it's pretty good. Pretty decent. New soldier acquired, yeah, that's the two rookies. We'll uh, deal with that when we actually have a mission that we go on. We have uh, another supply. That's a supply checkpoint. So that's like a random amount of resources, I presume. That is correct. And they are usually less, so they uh, th that would dis disappear at some point, and they are less uh, valuable than the actual um, supply drops. Yeah, but in that already... case, yeah. I kind of want to heal people okay. right now, since we have a ton of people that got screwed by uh, sub sub substandard uh, tactical choices <laughs> and RNG. Let let's blame RNG. It totally wasn't uh, mine or, or your fault, right? Correct. That's great. We got uh, modular sniper rifles. Mm -hmm. Let's um, see what next. Line us another weapon upgrade slot. That's nice. Unfortunately, we just lost our sniper. Uh, yes, yes, yes. We did lose the sniper. Um, L-Link cash decryption. <laughs> Why must you tempt me so? Uh, inspired. Would, inspired means it halves the research time. Yeah, um, and uh, the alien data cache would give you um, a Intel. We do have 140 currently, um, and it would be sometimes give you breakthroughs for autopsies. But yeah, this is only six days. So like these we're not doing right now. Well, only four days as well. Oh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna follow the the carrot and just say we totally need that research cash. All right, very Gosh. good. Finally, oh. we get some intel. It pays off. Well, I mean, it seemed like we have a decent amount, though. I don't seem to recall how much intel various things cost. So making we'll contact find that to out. making contact to a new area costs eighty intel for the first one and one hundred sixty for basically the second jump afterwards, then 240 and so on, unless you build a tower, a uh, network tower, um, mm -hmm. and it takes then the tower as, as the new point of yeah, calculation. Mm -hmm. As far as I recall, we don't really have any mods that we could put into any sniper rifles, so we go back to the map. Ah, I do remember one thing that I wanted to do, which is quickly check on our uh soldiers how they're doing here yeah, right two right. wounded that's actually not that many i thought we had more i guess we take care of that problem by letting them die um so yeah four days seven days and 14 days <sighs> it's almost not worth it wait for those two uh, directions on the map or some more supplies or the healing. I do get the feeling that a new mission is coming up, so I'll give it like time here until one of the soldiers uh, recuperates. Okay. Three and a half days that should be. Look at that, two promotions. Covert action report, yeah, that was and the mission we spent them on. Oh my gosh, we get new Indeed. soldiers. Again, a new resistance orders and covert actions. Very nice. Gain XP, cohesion. All right. This is the headquarters of the skirmisher faction. They may look like advent, but they 
So, um, we've now made contact with the next faction. Uh, yeah. You can improve the building speed if you're scanning there. So if you want to uh, in increase the building speed of our buildings, then that is possible there. And this is the Skirmisher, one of the new hero classes, which we got as a reward from the mission. On yep. top of that, it tells you that you uh, just got the option for two additional um, resistance orders. If you click continue, you will see them. One uh, reduces the black market cost by 33%. Yep. And what else? And Facility uh, construction speed 25%. But that's pretty good. Like, mm -hmm. that's pretty big uh, bonuses. All right. So now, now you need to assign a new um, code ops uh, action. Yep. The benefits we gain from working with the resistance faction. Be at risk. Additional support units or resources makes sense. We can find the uh, next uh, faction or we can do anything else. Right, so that would add Which... another faction hero. Um, keep in mind that would it's a, a bonus, it's, so to speak, a bonus soldier and you get new uh, resistance orders just like the ones that you've just received. Um, mm -hmm which are basically cards and at the end of the month you can decide which one you put into your deck yep i mean that's very uh tempting let's see what there is otherwise so sergeant i don't think anyone is lift long enough for sergeant um and then you negate the risk that makes sense here you get plus one health on a soldier. That's pretty nice. Those are the secondary rewards. You should always look out for them. Uh, so there's a primary reward. In this case, it's a new resistance order, uh, another card in mm -hmm. your deck. Um, and the secondary is only available for the soldier that you put um, onto yeah. that squad, uh, that space. No, I want to stay as far away from this lady as possible after <laughs> what happened last time. Go away go away 12 ability points potentially could be nice but uh yeah like i'm very tempted to just go for another faction I'm surprised they let you like immediately go for all of the faction heroes considering they seem to be really fucking strong uh units and i mean this gives us a health plus one upgrade as well like this is a really good proposition but i'm still not sure if you even have a sergeant we do have we one. Do one. Oh, that's our templar though no. i kind of don't want to send that guy out Sometimes um, you gotta send the best in order is, to get the best. Is Corporal after um, Sergeant? Uh, they rank by order, yeah. So Sergeant and Corporal is the next uh, lower tier. For your info, okay. you, you mm -hmm. don't know that yet, but let me uh, give you a small hint here. Zirkim has a promotion sign next to him, so you might want to go back and first of all promote him. Zirkim actually is considered a Sergeant after you've promoted him. Ah, okay. Well, that's a bit of a dick move then. They... Uh... If you don't click... put them, uh, him up yet. Yeah, yeah exactly. let's uh, quickly do the promotions then. Okay. Very good. Since we have several uh, ones that need promoting, so I'm. Sirkim was one of yours. Oh yeah, that so, means I can actually ahead. promote him. Um, I personally, and I'm not uh, saying that to influence you, but I personally am a very, very, very firm believer that the medical tree is better than uh, the combat hacking tree by a large amount uh, so he's definitely going to go into that direction and the other one jessica rabbit i think we color coded her red as well um yep. it's first of all uh, she looks pretty red coded yes uh i'm i'm not sure i i haven't given her such a sexy outfit uh, so i can only assume that it was random um it she's... makes it makes sense for the character she seems to be based on so <laughs> okay um so she's uh, an assault, which is great. We just um, needed one more. Anyways, back to you. Um, please feel free to field the mission however you want. Right. Um, we picked that here, I believe. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Down here. Uh, hello? Okay, now it works. Uh, yeah, I wanted to go for this one. So we're going to go for this one. And we're just going to send... Uh, oh, I was wrong. See, I stand Apparently, corrected. Yeah. Um, sorry. So it already upgrades them while you still have the actual promotion outstanding. Okay, I stand corrected. Okay. I was under the impression that would not be the case. In which case, you have a hard decision oh. to make. <laughs> I 
I tend to pick the long-term option most of the time. Faction here, Exum's rank, gain new resistance or his combat actions, that's what we looked at. Health plus one, who could use that? Immediate thought would be Jessica Jones, uh, just for an assault, you know, at least in my opinion, uh, not opinion, experience, uh, were the ones getting shot at the most. Previous game, uh, Grenadier would be my other choice usually, but I really don't want to set out uh, one of our uh, higher trained ones right now. So uh, probably our Ranger here, and then we're gonna work in the skirmisher in okay. the next mission sounds like so, yeah. a plan jessica and then risk soldier wounded moderate ah it'll be fine <laughs> <laughs> i'm sure it will be fine uh, nice the templar immediately gets wounded again i'll be very sad <laughs> um, because that guy did some work okay um we have our research going, we have our facility going. I think for the moment we should be all right. We can't train anybody with the time yet. Um, we were healing people. New supply drop in seven days. I'm going to keep your advice in mind for now, though our other supply drop timed out. So outside of just sitting here and healing people faster, we really only have the supply drop. Or you can build faster if you want to create um, if you want to scan. Oh, you are actually allowed to be here. Yes, I sir. see, I see. Reduces recovery time for injured soldiers. What? Uh, that is incorrect. I can tell you build faster is um, is what it does. Uh, this is what uh, reduces the recovery time. Probably the... Uh, the nice mouse, bug. <laughs> yeah, the mouse over was incorrect. Okay, well, let's see. The interesting thing is it doesn't have a scan sign next to it, just it, a name. It will get one. Okay. Well, that is some pretty shitty UI design. Yeah. Chosen knowledge of XCOM operations has increased. Doesn't sound good. Reduced income doesn't sound good. Uh, well, I hope we get a mission to deal with her. And that's another mission, I believe. That is true. Which is uh, bring us to uh, the end of this episode. Um, let's before we we can take a look at the location, but we're going to wrap up uh, the um, uh, the mission here. Oh, that's going to be a fun one. We're talking about that in a second. Thank you guys for um, for uh, joining this episode. If you want to continue supporting the co-op run, if you like to have Chris on the channel, uh, give him a little bit of love and put some uh, comments uh, down uh, in the section below. And we're going to see each other in the next episode. Thank you and goodbye.